up, guys? Welcome to episode 225 of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Talks, and joining me, as always, is J-Mac Gaming. Uh, hello, Chad. How are you? I am doing good, man. Doing good. You know, just, uh, reeling still over the high, I feel, over acquiring ECW. Wow. All right, let's start the show. Let's stop talking about your <laughs> shitty thing. And we start off with Chad's pre-show match and an abysmal pre-show uh, a game of defeat Scarlito in 1025, Chad. Yes, this was, uh, said, Chad, pick a pre-show. And, uh, and I said, uh, I don't even know who you have booked. And he said, just start naming names. And these were the first names of people that I knew he wouldn't have booked to do anything. So, oh, man. Um... I think that game was, in, uh, well, no spoilers. Let's move on to my match in the pre-show. Joey Matthews takes on, on taking on Tyson Duff or Dukes. Oh, man. Dukes. I call him Duff. I think he's French. I like to think he's French Canadian, so the X is silent. So I just call him yeah, Duke. Okay. Um, Tyson Tyson Dukes versus no, we're Joey call, we're, It's my show. We're calling him Tyson Duke. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, yeah, but Joey <laughs> Matthews, 804, gets the win. Uh, you know, 52 and 46 for guys who were in TNA for a little bit. It's pretty good, Chad. That ain't terrible. That ain't terrible at all. Joey Matthews is, uh, he's, uh, you know, I, I forgot you had him. We got some guys, and we. I was looking over in TNA. We got some guys ready. We got some guys ready. All right, we move on to the opening of the show. No promo. No, we're just going straight in because it's raw. And about that a terrible wrestling and non-existent <laughs> crowd heat, Taka Michinoku defeats Ron Killings after he hits raw Mr. Killings with the Michinoku driver. Um, Taka, huge, 66. He's, uh, you know... I thought about giving him more of a push other than the cruiserweights. But then after the match, all the cruiserweights come out and they start beating each other up. We're talking Taka, Dude, killing what? King Cassidy <laughs> outside, King Ikea, Mystico, and Marty Janetti. Marty Janetti? Marty Janetti's here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, yeah, they're all battling to see. Um, where this is going to lead, I, I'm, I mean, we need a new number one contender for the light heavyweight championship. It's, and it's going to be Marty Jannetty. All right. <laughs> Marty Jannetty here at Monday Night Raw. We is that his debut? Uh, yes. <laughs> a weird way to debut. Uh, we uh, go backstage and we see a limo arrive. It's Jeff, Jared, and Paul White arriving to the Times Union Center. i got to start getting out of this area, but it doesn't matter. Uh, JJ and Paul White are here, Chad. Yes, yes, Double J and uh, P Dubs. We move on to Sultan, member of Team TNA. He takes on Farouk and he defeats Farouk in 9:36 after hitting uh, poor little Farouk with a big splash from the top rope. Sultan again, another oh, another big win for Sultan. But after the match, Andrew Test Martin is on the Titan Tron. He says, "Uh." You know, you did your job, Sultan, and now we're doing ours. And they, and then the, the camera pans down to Andrew's feet. And Jeff Jarrett and Paul White are laid out. And PJ Black, Tess, Tyson Duh, and Joey Matthews are just standing over Jeff Jarrett and Paul White, Chad. Oh, wow. What the hell is going on here? Man. Team TNA. <laughs> it was a big push for the Duh man. Tyson Duh, pre-show to fucking taking out Double J. I'm over here just like, you ain't tell me these fuckers beat up. That's uh, the fucking Paul White. Uh, do, do you uh, do we want to say what happened to PJ Black, or do you have something planned for that? We we're going to have something uh, and, planned for In that. the news. We're going to have to plan Okay, well, cool, 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 cool. Well, then I won't say anything. No spoilers here. Uh, we, there, was, there was none. There was none. move on to Steve Austin getting... Why is Owen Hart in this? Oh, I did not mean that. <laughs> Did not mean to have Owen Hart in this, but Steve Austin getting ready for his match. He passes The Rock in Gorilla, and The Rock winks at him and says, good luck. <laughs> that Owen Hart is in the back tying his shoes. Yeah, oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve Austin takes on D'Lo Brown tonight. They have pretty good chemistry in the lift of the match, uh, Steve Austin. Uh, pins him with the best press. <laughs> oh, but not even a stunner. So yeah, stunner. I'm not even gonna pull out a stunner for this one. 
Yeah, it's just a fucking rub. What? You want me to hit a stunner? What? what? So, pretty good match right there. 81. Wild. Austin a 97, by the way. Oh, wow. Oh! Sean Stasek! He's here! He's here! <laughs> Chad, he's returned! The Stasek oh, Sean man. Stasek is back! And he's walking backstage, and Ken Shamrock just blindsides him with a lead pipe. Oh, wow. Right in the back. Shamrock, uh, obviously, you know, still not over the feud back in the day with Sean Stasiak. But I guess Shamrock getting his spot in King of the Ring when Stasiak went down, you know, that didn't mean anything. I thought that would, uh, you know, cover up any... Uh... All right. But no. He didn't win, you know. He didn't win. Well, so. he, he did get Final Four, Chad. He did get Final Four, but... He did get Final Four, but that does not matter to Ken Shamrock. He, all he wants, he's the most dangerous man, Chad. He only cares about violence. We move on. To Mark Henry and Bradshaw, and this sucked. In an abysmal <laughs> match, Mark Henry defeats Bradshaw 947 with a death from above. Taking Sultan's move and just giving it a different name. Um, it just, just reminded me, I forgot to advance the Christian and Edge storyline at all tonight. That stinks. Whatever. Jeez, Justin. <laughs> nah, sometimes you live and sometimes you learn. We move on to, to, uh, Team WCW backstage without Scott Norton. Scott Norton stayed at Nitro tonight. <laughs> oh? <laughs> um, and they're hyping up Big Boss Bitch. As he's got a match with Triple H right after this. And in a good match, Triple H defeats Big Boss Bitch with an ace crusher in 1242. Triple H of 91, by the way. Nice. So, uh, 91 for Big Boss Man. Uh, yeah, 57 for Big Boss Bitch. He's really off his game tonight. So, uh, you know, they he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Backstage, right before our main event of the night, Vince McMahon with his family members, Stephanie and Shane. They're now, uh, they're now a, a family stable. You know, they're the what is the fucking name I'm trying to think of? The corporation, the no. the McMahons, damn it. The authority. There we go. Couldn't fucking think about it. Brain's not working the night, boys. Uh, Vince announces that next week we will see the Beat the Clock Challenge versus uh, 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 pitting Eddie Guerrero and Owen Hart, and the winner will pick the stipulation for their huge SummerSlam main event for the oh, world you know, I th title. Yeah, I think, I think Justin, I think for this, you know, we can infer that um, it was Owen Hart's uh, very fast shoe tying in the prior segment, and Vince said, you can tie your shoes fast, pal, and so can Eddie. So I think a beat the clock challenge needs to happen. That's exactly what happened, Chad. Thank you for bringing that to my memory because I completely yes. forgot about that. Yeah, well, okay. you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. What would I do without you, Chad? And and and, and, for, and it's a shame that they interrupted the show during that amazing Edge and Christian confrontation that we would have seen if Vince McMahon didn't make all it about right, himself. Now you're making things up. All right. <laughs> We move on to the main event, which, again, I, I I just said this, Chad. What would I do without you? Chad booked this main event. Yeah. It is the American Heartbreakers taking Jesus. on the New Age Outlaws for the Tag Team Championships. And they defend the titles once again when Kurt Angle pins Road Dog with an Angle <laughs> Slam. Defense number two. Defense number two. They've been champions for about six months now. And and they've made two defenses. They've been too busy worrying about King of the Ring and Shawn Michaels just sitting at home thinking about Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> um, but after the match, Chad, remember last week we had a video saying your time is coming and the day of reckoning is of uh, 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 yes, I remember. I I remember that. I remember that. Heartbreakers. They don't have. They don't know. They weren't watching the fucking product last week. They don't know that happened. They win. They're celebrating. New Age Outlaws still in the ring down. Um, lights go out. Ooh. The lights go out, Chad. Yeah. And out come Undertaker and Kane. Ooh, I knew it. I knew it. 
the brothers of destruction Ugh. in the ring as the lights come back on. Hell Both yeah. of them choke slam the New Age Outlaws. American Heartbreakers are still in fucking shock. And then Undertaker. Oh, that match is going to be a banger. Undertaker and Kane do the fucking throat slit. <laughs> And they step up and choke slam both Kurt Angle and Shawn Michaels to finish Monday Night Raw. Chad, excellent job, excellent. That's gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna be great. There we go, eighty six. No, I think uh, I think I, I think that I think if if you do uh, American Heartbreakers versus the Brothers of Destruction, I think. Listen, here's my prediction. I think that has the potential to be in like one of the top five best matches we've done. Uh, since switching over to this new, uh, well, the f- five of them are three of them are fucking Raven versus Steiner. <laughs> yeah, they are, brother. <laughs> All right, Mr. Thank- five star match Raven. Thank you for watching two episode 225. Chad. Episode 225. Yes, yes. Uh, we will see you for episode 226 for Nitro. 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 Yes, Nitro. It's the first Nitro since the ACW integration, Chad. Yes, yes. It's gonna be a big, it's gonna be a big day. It's gonna be a big day. We'll see you there. Pretty, pretty, pretty.